Hey everyone, uh, it's Matt, and today I'll be showing you something pretty fun, if you ask me. And that something is an award-winning PC game that was free and came in a series. And if that wasn't strange enough, not only did this game come in a cereal box for free, it was a modded version of Doom for kids. That's right. So, what exactly was this game? Well, it was none other than Chex's Quest. And Chuck's Quest, as I already described, is essentially a modded version of Doom aimed at kids that came in a cereal box for free. And to this day, it's still something with a lot of nostalgia and fun for me. For you see, unlike most cereal pretty short, you can finish it in maybe around half an hour or so, but as far as free cereal box prizes go, it was quite the thing, hence the awards it won. It won at least a couple of awards for advertising, and I really do think it deserved them, because unlike most things that uh, were used to advertise cereal, This video, I will be talking a little bit about Chex Quest and then doing a full playthrough of it for you. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Anyway, I have here the original Chex Quest disc. And it did not come in a jewel case. I believe it came in its own sort of like plastic or paper sleeve, but I don't have that anymore. What I do have is this jewel case that I made when I was a kid, and uh, it was just a blank jewel case, and I ended up printing out, or not printing out, cutting out a piece of paper, and uh, inserting cover art, because how am I going to top that? I mean, come on. But on the back, I drew one of the enemies from the game, one of the Flemoids, and the Zorcher, I believe it's called, the main kind of pistol equivalent weapon that you start the game with. But if we take the game out, or the disc out, You can see here we have the promotional art of the Chex Warrior, as he is named, as well as one of those Flimoid enemies, like the one you saw drawn on the back. We have the Chex Quest logo, as well as an offer for 50 free hours of service. And if you grew up in the 90s, you are surely very familiar with all the ways that America Online uh, advertised itself by including free hours on discs in every place you could imagine. And you couldn't even escape it with Chex Quest. I imagine that is partly how the game was funded, because again, it did come for free. Well, not for free, but at no additional cost in a cereal box. But yeah, there's not really much.
much else to say about the disc, but it seems like a good time now to switch over to my computer, where we will play the game uh, on a modern version of GZ Doom, which is just a program that will run Doom WAD files uh, with some modern conveniences. checks quest as you can see we are on the menu and i'm just going to start a new game and play through the whole thing and you'll see what it's like here we go for the purposes of a relaxing asmr video i'm going to do the easiest difficulty but yeah this is checks quest Hopefully I won't get too lost. I do remember some levels being a little tricky to navigate, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Anyway, we have the armor here and some health pickups. Or no, that's a Zorcher pickup. The Zorch is the ammo for your Zorcher, which is this thing. And uh, the Zorcher is not a gun. The uh, people who made this game made a point of saying that to appease the parents who were otherwise appalled by the violence of doom. It is instead a teleportation device. So when you shoot the aliens with it, they get teleported back to their home planet and they are entirely unharmed. At least that is the narrative of the game, but everyone knows it's basically just shooting them. So, like Doom, you have to navigate the level and zorch enemies and find key cards to open up new areas and find the exit. This guy here is stuck in the wall. But yeah, it's running on the Doom engine, so you've got that kind of 3D look with all the 2D sprites that move around like that as you go around them and it's generally a fun time and you can hold down shift to run and all the usual stuff I don't remember yeah I was wondering if that would act like an explosive barrel but that wouldn't make sense after all it's not a weapon right so let's kill some more of these I mean I'm sorry zorch some more of these guys teleport them back to their home planet and in keeping with the theme of good for kids, it's teaching you to be healthy. The health pickups are fruit, and armor, uh, the extra health I mean, is H2O, water. So how about we go this way? I'm going to go over to the observation deck. It looks like this is some sort of Chex base. As you can see, we have another Chex person's portrait here. We can't go into the red door yet because I haven't found the red key. But we'll find it soon enough. Let's go out here. Zorch some more of these guys. And let's check out Hangar 2A here. Nothing but uh, a bit of armor. How about this other one? Oh boy. This looks like it could be a secret. Yep. Some secret vegetables. Alright. And then let's check this one here. Oh yeah, this is just another way through here. But since I have the blue key card, let's go through the blue door. And here's the red key. So now that we have the red key, let's find that red door again and go through it. There it is. And through the red door, we have some more flemoids, as well as this guy who you saw earlier. He makes a very annoying sound. 
but he's back on his home planet now. Got some more pictures of Chex people here. And what is this? Could this be a secret? Yes. A big old Chex armor. And there you go. That's the end of the first level. I returned 96 flamoids, 96% flamoids, found 75% of the items and half the secret areas. The part time is 30 seconds, but I was taking my time, as you can tell. Next up, storage facility. We are now at the Chex storage facility, where we have, surprise, surprise, lots of Chex and lots of flamoids. This game is, of course, not quite as well thought out and fun as the actual Doom game. But when you are a kid in 1996 and something like this comes for free in a cereal box, it kind of blows your mind. So I have a lot of nostalgia for it. And it is still fun to play, as simplistic as it is. It's got great music too. I don't know how well you can hear it depending on how I edit the sound for this though. So here's the machine gun. I mean, uh, well, I don't know what the actual name of it is, but let's call it the mach machine zorcher, as well as this thing, which is effectively the rocket launcher. And you can tell it's the rocket launcher because if you get too close and do it, there is splash damage and you will get hurt, which doesn't really make sense in the context of this game, but it is basically doom. So you just gotta roll with it. We've unlocked whatever that is, but I need a blue key, so let's go back here. What do we have in here? A red door and another lock, which I have also opened. But let's turn back and find some keys. Back up the elevator. Out of my way, Flamoid. You're going home. Okay. Got some more charge ammo there. And up the stairs, we got a bunch of them. This guy's kind of stuck. What's this? A complete breakfast? And checks as part of it? I like how the glass of milk is all shiny. It's got that glint on it. Down the hallway we have, as expected, more flamoids and some more ammo. And there's the yellow key. Very nice. Now what is this? This is, wait for it, the equivalent of I'm just going to shoot it because I don't feel like waiting for more flamoids. The equivalent of the plasma rifle, or the plasma gun, whatever you call it. So with the yellow key, let's go in here and use this teleporter. Ah, looks like he went to the teleporter. Can we find him? Yes. Okay. Back through. I think I ended up in a different area. On to Chex Refrigerated Storage. I like the bah sounds they make. Bah! Very silly sounding guys. I don't think they really pose any violent threat to us. Well, the ones with the guns do, but uh, they mostly just end up gunking everything up. I know the original release of this game did have a cutscene of sorts at the intro of the game and maybe the ending, but it's not in this WAD file that I'm using. It's pretty inconsequential, but it did show basically the setup for the game. Out of my way. I'm eating my vegetables. Where are you going? Bah, says that guy. 
Anyway, let's see if I can find more keys. Speak of the devil, it's a blue key. Alright, let's go use that blue door that we found. Up the stairs. And where was it? I'm having a little trouble remembering. I think it may have been this way. Yeah, down here. So, there we go. Blue door. There's a bunch of them in here. But they're not much of a threat. And what's on the other side of this teleporter? Another switch. But what does the switch do? Maybe it opened up this? Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps this game is a little too easy on the easiest difficulty. That said, it is made for kids, and I was five or six years old when I first played it. And now on to the laboratory. The Chex Laboratory. Because somehow, Chex is involved in some sort of sciencey stuff. Why? The world may never know. But that's just the way it is. There's lots of checks in here, as you can probably imagine. Let's hit this switch and see what's in here. A bunch of flamboids. I need a blue key for that, but not for this one. What's in here? You know, I always ask, what's in here, as if... I don't know what's going to be in here. The answer is always flamoids. But it's still fun to ask. And you can just go right through that grate there. And uh, apparently you use the teleporter to get here. So let's go this way. You know what's fun? I believe... Yeah, lemon? Oh, yes. It's a spork. It's basically like punching in Doom. Um, but as I was saying a while back, Limited Run Games re-released this in a big box PC edition. I didn't get it because I have the original, but that's kind of cool. But even more interesting is that they actually released a vinyl version of this game's soundtrack. Can you imagine that? A vinyl version of the soundtrack to a PC game. That's a Doom mod for kids, which came in a cereal box for free. History is very strange sometimes, don't you think? Because I do. There's the blue key. And a bunch of bars from the flamboids. I gotta say, this plasma rifle is maybe a little overpowered, especially at this difficulty. But let's go open the blue door. I wanna double check this place here. Yeah, it seems like it's just a teleporter. So, where was the blue door? Blue door, here it is. Now we have red and yellow doors. But first, the next blue door. And they're out of my way. But these guys... I say these guys are probably the biggest threat in the game. Unless I'm forgetting an enemy. This right here is effectively the shotgun. Just a big old zorcher. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. Being that it is the shotgun. Everyone loves the Doom shotgun, right? Right. So, of course, I'm using it. Okie doke. Where's the next key? Bah. Go back home. 
anything in these lockers? Probably not. I like the uh sound your character makes when you can't do something. Uh, uh, uh. Let's be careful, because this phlegm, this phlegm stuff is toxic. This was back in the era of the Nickelodeon green goo. The slime. I wonder if that was partially an inspiration for this. What do we have here? Yellow key. Very nice. Now where was that yellow door? Let's take a look. I think I might be going in circles. Yeah. Okay, let's find my way back. Is it this way? I think so. Almost there. Yeah, here's the blue door. And now the yellow door. Here they come. And there they go. Back home to whatever planet they live on. I don't know if it was ever given a name. I don't remember all the details of Chex Quest lore. Bah. And I found the map. How do I use the map? Yeah, it's tab. All right. Level looks a little more complex on the map than uh, it kind of feels to play. It feels fairly simple, but it's somewhat complex. I've got some switchbacks here. And the red key. Let's take these guys out. So, on to the red door, which was somewhere over here. There we go. And could this be the exit? Sure looks like it. Oh no, it's not. Very clever trap there, Flemoids. How they set that up, I have no idea. But it seems they did. Alright. Now on to the Arboretum. Am I even pronouncing that correctly? I always feel weird when I try and say that word. Arboretum? Arboretum? I don't know. I never say it in daily life. But if you know the answer, maybe you can let me know in the comments. So this is where all the fruits and vegetables apparently come from. It's an entire level devoted to reminding kids to eat their fruits and veggies. Because if fruits and veggies are cool enough to be a level in a video game, they must be cool enough to eat and put in your body, right? Right. There's a bunch of them in here. How about we try the plasma rifle? I think that's my favorite in this game. I don't I don't think that's the actual name. That's just the Doom version. The Doom name of whatever this weapon is. I always remember this level giving me a bit of confusion. Because it's kind of circular. And goes around in circles. Hopefully I won't get too lost. Okay. I can't use that door. It's all gunked up. But how about... Aha. Uh -huh. So there's the blue key. 
and let's keep going. Have I been through here? I don't think so, but maybe I have. Nope. That looks like a blue key door, but first, let's take care of business. Alright, down to the blue key. Say the flamoids. Let's hit the switch here. And then, what about this? That's a bunch of flamoids. That's a whole lot of them. They're making a bunch of noises. way yet. I need a yellow key. So back over here we have this door here. But no yellow key. Where might the yellow key be? Let's go backtrack a bit. Ah, there it is. I imagine that switch back there opened it up. Now, on to the yellow key door. Alright, I remember this area being a little bit of a maze. Let's see if we can find my way through. Bunch of banana trees. edges of these models are maybe not quite as they appear, as you can see. Makes it a little bit awkward to navigate around. But let's keep going. I see ya. doesn't show up on the map, so that makes it a little trickier. Oh no, I'm going to be lost here forever. Or maybe not. Is this the way I came in? Yes, okay. So now that I have my bearings, let's take another look. I think I've already been this way. How about we go right? There is a complete breakfast over here. But no exit. Alright. So through here. How about we try left? And then right? No. So I'm still lost, but I'm getting a slightly better mind map going here. Slightly. You can walk through the vines, so I gotta remember that. There we go. And this guy is in the way. And there's the exit. All done. Okay, so next up, the Caverns of Bazoic, which if I remember correctly, is the final level of the game. This here is the Chex Mineral Mines. Yes, apparently the Chex company owns an entire mine system from which they mine minerals for the checks. This game is perhaps the most uh, 
comprehensive example of serial lore ever in a video game. Though I could be wrong on that, you never know. There might be a video game with more lore related to a serial. I do remember this level being a little confusing as well, so hopefully I won't be too stuck. Lots of uh, slime everywhere, but I do see the yellow key, so let's go ahead and get that. Being careful not to fall. Ba 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 ba. See these guys. And now into the teleporter. I hear ya. What do we have here? A blue key and some Shex armor. So now I think I gotta go back through the teleporter. Yep, takes me up here. Now where do these blue and yellow keys go? There's the blue door. Looks to be the red key. Out of my way. No more bars. We don't have time for bar. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So now, where do I use the other keys? Let's take a look. Alright, so this looks like it's back where we started, right? Yeah, I think so. Wasn't sure if that was some sort of secret there. It was not. But these guys are coming out, so might as well shoot them back home. There's a bunch of enemies here. They keep coming. But up here, what do we have? Yeah, it's just this. But is it? Yeah, I think so. I don't think there's any other doors down here. But there are two teleporters. Which one did I take last time? I think I took that one. Let's try this one and see where it goes. Okay, this is just up here, right, okay. So let's go back to the other one again and take another look. Let's look carefully. Oh yeah, okay, the map is filling out. I do see what might be yellow doors on the other side, so let's through here and now go straight ahead and we'll see what we can find through the blue door ah uh, okay so that's the secret door there or not so secret but small door but if we go this way, there are some places not explored, it seems. Such as over here. But I gotta be quick before I get killed by the phlegm. Thankfully, I have this protective suit now. And now we have a bunch of bats. I was wondering where the flamoids were. There they are. Excuse me. I wonder what's around this corner. And here's a fun fact. There's actually a Chex Quest 2 and a Chex Quest 3. 
They just never ended up in cereal boxes. They were both available for download. No, I think Chex Quest 3 might have been unofficial. Alright, so I think this is the end. The final boss, if you will. Let's get all this ammo here. And take care of it. I imagine this might be a reference to the icon of sin from Doom 2. The wall that shot stuff at you. That you had to shoot rocket launchers at. No, I don't think you need to shoot rockets at this guy. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright, he's dead. Let's kill these guys for good measure. I mean, teleport these guys for good measure. And we'll get out of here. There's all my Chex buddies, and maybe Cheerios too. I don't know if they're supposed to be Cheerios, but I found them all. And that's it for Chex Quest. Pretty fun game, if I do say so myself. At least by Cereal Box standards. Mission accomplished. Are you prepared for the next mission? Press the escape key to continue. Alright, so I do hope you enjoyed this look back at a classic PC game that came in a cereal box. And I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a good night.